in studio recordings, you can have all these advantages of making things sound completely surreal and unlike how you would actually hear something. But when you're recording with one microphone in your house, I think it behooves you to be just authentic and real. I mean, pretty much every take on my record is one take. All my favorite old records are just one or two takes, and they just have the feel of the song, and there's something magical, even if there's a mistake on it. Don't worry about the mistakes, just get the take. For my solo album, I recorded it completely in this room virtually, some of the vocals I did in the closet over there, and I recorded it all on an iPad with the microphone that's built into the iPad. I don't know if I have advice, because I'm still figuring it out myself, but um, I do feel like trying to do something every day is big. I mean, it used to be you needed a record label who had a Rolodex of all the addresses of all the places they could send your record to. And you had to work with these people who had complete access. And I think something like CD Baby is really, really empowering to artists who... I have, I have no idea how I would get my stuff on iTunes or Spotify or any of these places. And, and you know, now people will find my stuff online that I've never heard, I've never met, and they'll cover it. There's like YouTube videos of my songs being covered. and. I mean, that's all from being distributed digitally. I think it's a really important, empowering thing. And it's amazing. I mean, I like record all this stuff on my iPad in my house, master it on there, and then just upload it online for my Wi-Fi. And the next thing you know, it's just all over the world. And it never, I never left my house. So you make a drum track out of a bubbly water bottle. <laughs>